Y bienvenidos. Mi nombre es Raúl Estrada. Yo soy el director del Centro de Ayuda. Y hoy es un día. Welcome. My name is Raúl Estrada. I'm the executive director for El Centro de Ayuda. Today is a great day for Boyle Heights, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a round of applause. <laughs> Needless to say, it's great to be back home here on First in Chicago. Uh, many of you know that this building is historical, not just in the way it's designed, but what took place in this building. This building used to be the old community service organization that helped launch the political careers and the efforts of historical leaders like Cesar Chavez, Dolores Huerta, and Edward R. Royball. Verdad? Get round of applause. Many of us that have been around long enough know these things because we still call the building the CSO. So, but on that note, and I think it's only fitting that as we're talking about historical leaders, that I have the honor and the privilege to introduce our leader that was responsible for bringing this building back to Boyle Heights and making this services that are going to be available here today. So without further ado, it's my honor and my privilege to introduce a friend and our council member, Jose Huizar. Thank you, Raul, and good morning, Boyle Heights. Go Mustangs. Buenos días y me da mucho gusto estar aquí este día para inaugurar este edificio que va a traer los servicios a la comunidad de Ball Heights. I'm really honored to be here to uh, cut the ribbon today and open the doors to this beautiful building to continue to provide services to this great community. And first, before I go on, I want to give a huge round of applause to Plaza de la Raza Mariachi Youth Ensemble. Weren't they great? I think they did a great job. And you know, before I talk a little bit about this building and introduce some folks who helped with it and thank them for uh, getting this done, I wanted to talk about something more significant here about what this, uh, this is about today. Because, you know, this not only is a day to open the doors to our mini city hall, but it's also a day as we complete a vision we had for this corner called the Mini Civic Center for Ball Heights. We started a few years ago on improvements here on uh, Caddy Corner on a, the Ross Valencia Park, where we improved that park. And then after we finished it and completed it, we renamed it the Ross Valencia Park after a activist here in Ball Heights who served in World War II who did a lot for our community and I want to thank Carmen Valencia for being here today, his wife. Thank you Carmen and Ross Valencia. And I also believe we have Ana Apostolos, the Lani project director. Is she here? She's somewhere around here working. There she is. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. And thank you for your work on the uh, pocket park, the Ross Valencia Park. After that, in 2009, we opened up the most beautiful police station in the entire city of Los Angeles. It was a $31 million investment in Ball Heights, and it is state-of-the-art. And we renamed it in 2011 after Rudy De Leon, one of LAPD's first Mexican-American captains. And that station is now serving this great community. I want to welcome our new captain, Martin Baeza, who's here from the Hollaback, Rudy De Leon Hollaback Police Station. All the senior lead officers, cadets, thank you for being here as well, and thank you for your service. And then a few years later, we also secured, uh, uh, that same year, we secured money to take down the fence here at the Benjamin Franklin Library and beautify the landscaping. When we, I first got elected back in 06, it looked more like, uh, keep, it, was, it was a way of keeping people out, rather than say, let's welcome you into this library. We beautified the landscaping there, we made that library more welcoming. People even said, we didn't know we had a library there after we took out other brush and we completed that and I want to thank all the librarians and people who work in our libraries. Let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you. And this brings us to the final corner today. Our new city hall here in Boa Heights. It was known as the Chicago Plaza Building and it is now our new Boa Heights City Hall. And ladies and gentlemen, this building stands as one of the 
significant things we are doing here in Boyle Heights as we complete this corner of this building because this is after two billion dollars in new public project improvements in all of Boyle Heights with three new schools all the parks have gone improvements the new metro line things are happening here in Boyle Heights and we should all be very very proud of that now before I introduce some other folks I want to give you a little history about the building you know it opened up in the 1920s as a Masonic temple and this is actually where the community service organization was founded and the legendary Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta once stood here to mobilize the, commu the Latino community against social injustice. And many people do not know this, but they say this is actually where the talks happened to found the United Farm Worker Movement, a very significant thing in history. This building also helped elect Edward Roybaugh the first Mexican-American council member of the Los Angeles City Council. And for me, it's very significant as I stand here now as the first immigrant elected to the City Council to help inaugurate and rehabilitate and cut the ribbon on this great building. Now, as we talk about that tradition and everything it stood for, um, we also know that as, as much of this building stood for the social activism, it was quite a fight to actually get this open and rehabilitated. Uh, in 2007, this, the city bought the building, and in 2008, there was an earthquake uh, that was, and this was the only building in that earthquake that, that got red tagged. A lot of people gave up on it, but my staff and I kept fighting and fighting, and we got the funds to make this happen. I remember I was on the council floor arguing with my colleagues. They were saying things like, well, you know what, City Hall's right here. We don't need another small City Hall just over the bridge. But you know, for a lot of people in our community, Downtown is a world away, and it, wouldn't it, it's great to have a place where you know, where you could walk to, where you could get the services you need, and not have to sometimes for a lot of people who are public transit dependent go that go to downtown. So it was a real victory, and when we got five million dollars short, people stepped up. Even if we were in the great the, one of the worst recessions in a lot of uh, in a long time. People stepped up and finally we finished this $22 million project. Let's give everybody who had a hand on this a big round of applause. Thank you so, so much. So the idea is this. If you need any services from the city, you could come here. But even if the services are not provided here, you would get a referral. La idea es esta. Si necesitas servicios de la ciudad, pueden venir aquí. Si los servicios no están aquí, los vamos a dar una referencia donde puedan recibir esos servicios. Y aquí va a haber servicios para los jóvenes, para la gente que necesita ayuda con los, uh, si son inquilinos, si son ancianos, muchos, muchos uh, servicios van a estar aquí. And let me, let me name you just a few of the services that will be here in departments. We're going to have the Bureau of Street Services, Department of Aging, the SCE Federal Credit Union, the Housing and Community Investment Department, the Economic and Workforce Development Department, the Lucia Roybaugh Family Source Center, El Centro de Ayuda, the Boyle Heights Neighborhood Council, Abuelitos de Boyle Heights, the Maravilla Foundation, Hollenbeck Pal that provides services for our young people, Fuego Tech, the Los Angeles Youth Opportunity Movement, Girls Today, Women Tomorrow, and finally we're also having a very popular program that helps our kids get into college called College Track. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a real victory for our community and uh, I want to go, uh, before I introduce people up, I also want to give a final thank you to my own staff who fought with me for seven years to make this possible. Pa Habib, my chief of staff, who really led the charge and found some money. And so thank you so much for your work on this project, Paul. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to our city engineering engineer Gary Lee Moore. Uh, he oversees a number of projects in the area uh, from the Valley Grade Bridge that we got here on Valley and Al Sereno to our 6th Street Bridge that uh, we are now uh, gonna re uh, redo and a number of other great projects. He's a great public servant. Amigos y amigas, les voy a presentar a Gary Lee Moore. Es el ingeniero de la ciudad de Los Ángeles y nos ayuda mucho a construir estos proyectos. Un aplauso por favor a Gary Lee Moore. Now Gary, your whole speech has to be in Spanish. Hola, buenos días. Dos años de español, so I'm going to do it in English. <laughs> Good morning, it is a great pleasure to be here and I just want to uh, 
thank Councilman Jose Weiser. Without you, we would not be here today. Thank you, sir, for your leadership. You know, uh, it was very nice of the councilman to find the money to, uh, for us to uh, rebuild this building. The one thing he told, didn't tell me when he gave me the building was there was 180 code violations when we took over the building. I can tell you now there are zero code violations. <laughs> Two more things I just want to say is what this building is, is that we had to build a building inside a building. So uh, we had to build six inch walls throughout the entire of this building. We had to glue the old exterior into this new building with bolts. And so I tell you, this is the safest place in Los Angeles to be. Please come here in an earthquake. You will be safe. You will be safe. Finally, I do, uh, you're going to hear from my colleagues here in a minute. It was a total team effort to be here today. And I do acknowledge, want to acknowledge three people from my staff that are here today. Our Chief Deputy City Engineer, Deborah Weintraub our uh, head of our architectural division, Mahmoud Karinzade, and our project manager, Reza, stand up, Reza Bagherzadeh, thank you. <laughs> Councilman, this was totally designed by all city employees. It is a pleasure to be a city employee. I'm blessed to work so, with so many great general managers and yourself. May you and the community enjoy this building for another 100 years, thank you. This is presented to the Bureau of Engineering and your work on the Ball Heights City Hall. Thank you so much and thank you for all the work you do, Gary. Thank you. They did the actual construction on the building from the retrofitting to the renovation and have worked nonstop over the last few months to bring this to this day. Let me introduce Tony Royster. Tony! I would like to take this opportunity to express my sincere appreciation and gratitude to Councilmember Wezar and for the Bureau of Engineering for allowing the Department of General Services to participate in this great project. I remember probably when this happened, I got a call about five minutes to five on Friday saying there was an earthquake and we need to evacuate everyone out so our team at GSC was able to get the people out by the weekend. And I also would like to give special th uh, thanks to my staff and recognize them, uh, the Construction Forces Division, David Pascal, Assistant General Manager over this group, also to uh, Nick Pendoff, Director of Construction Services, also to uh, Joy Obrey, uh, part of Real Estate Services, and also to our Director of Real Estate Services, Melody McCormick. At the same time, I would like to congratulate uh, Councilman Wezar and his staff for doing a very great job and I'm quite sure the community will enjoy and treasure this great municipal facilities for years to come. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Tony. And then, I, I, and also I'd like to thank Miguel Santana, the Chief Administrative Officer of the city who oversees our budgets. Without his support and his staff's hard work, we may have never seen the final uh, uh, finishing line here because of the financial gaps that we've struggled throughout the time to get this to where we are. Let's give a huge round of applause to Miguel Santana. Buenos dias. It's good, be, it's good to be back in Boyle Heights. You know, government doesn't exist for itself, it exists for all of you. And what this center represents is, an, is honoring our past by restoring this incredible building, uh, providing services for the, for the present residents of Boyle Heights, from our seniors to people looking to improve their communities. And of course, 
investing in our future by providing opportunities for our kids to go on to college. So I want to thank the councilman for his leadership in bringing this incredible uh, center to Boyle Heights and for all the tremendous work that's happening here. I also want to thank my staff who took a personal uh, cause, made this a personal cause for them to ensure that this center opened and provide all those services we have here. So thank you. Thank you so much, Miguel, and thank you for all the work you do for our city. And next, I'd like to introduce Nazario Salceda, director of the Bureau of Street Services. They're going to be housed in this building, so he said that if a pothole isn't filled, when you call in, he'll come out here himself and fill it in. So thank you so much, Nazario. Thank you, Councilman, and I uh, appreciate the opportunity to say one word. I'm going to take only one minute. I just want to commend you. Uh, what we have today is the result of your leadership, your vision, your tenacity, and your ability to get things done. I also want to congratulate the city engineer and the Bureau of Engineering. They did a marvelous job. It's incredible what they did. But beyond the concrete and the bricks, this building represents a temple of opportunity. The opportunity for government and residents to become friends, to interact, to discuss the ways to improve the neighborhood. And I think you understand that very well, Councilman, so I want to thank you for that and for giving us the opportunity to be one of the tenants in this per at this particular location. Um, el, el, el Departamento de Obras Públicas va a estar aquí todos los días, de lunes a viernes, para atenderlos, para tomar sus uh, solicitudes, um, ya sea en problemas de calles, de árboles, de banqueta. Por favor, vengan a visitarnos denos sus, op sus opiniones and de denos uh, la oportunidad de servirlos como ustedes se merecen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councilman. Thank you very much, Nazario. And next, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Tina Kim and Kimberly Ortega from College Track. I think they're here someplace. There they are. They're coming up. And as you know, before I was a council member, I served on the Board of Education for the Los Angeles Unified School District. And to me, providing educational opportunities is one of the most important things we can do in our community. And so I'm really excited to have College Track here in this building. Let's invite up Tina Kim and Kimberly Ortega. Good morning, buenos dias. Soy Tina Kim, la directora de College Track. College Track is a national college completion program. We work with students from the summer before 8th grade for 8 to 10 years until they graduate from college. With the partnership of the I Am Angel Foundation, we are currently serving more than 100 students at Roosevelt High School. One of these students, a member of our first class, is Kimberly Ortega. Please welcome her to the stage. It is an honor to be with you all this morning. I am proud to say that I was born and raised in Boyle Heights and I truly love my community. Many 13-year-olds dream about being the next Kobe Bryant or being a famous singer, but my dream is to get into and graduate from college. I joined College Track because I knew that it was going to support me in this dream. My parents are the people who inspire me and encourage my goal to graduate from college because I see how they came to this country to work hard, to give me a better future, and to live the American dream. The American dream is one of endless opportunities including to go to college no matter the color of your skin or the zip code where you live. This is College Track's mission as well. Now that I am in College Track, college isn't a distant dream anymore, but reality within reach. College Track gives me the support I need to not only get into, but graduate from a four-year college. The program helps me with my homework, learning the requirements to get into college, and exposing me to a college-going environment. Living in Boyle Heights, I've always passed by this building on my way to the library, and I remember thinking, this is a really old building. But I had no clue about the amazing history that has occurred here, or the inspirational people who got their start here. Now that I know, I believe this is the perfect place for College Track. Why? College Track scholars are the future Boyle Heights leaders, just as Cesar Chavez, 
Dolores Huerta and Edward Roy Bauer, not only for this community, but for the country and the world. As we work towards our dream, as we work toward our dream of a college education, this space will remind us that our efforts will not only impact our future, but the future of our families and this community. The students of College Track are committed to serving others through the opportunities we are given. In closing, College Track is excited to be part of Boyle Heights City Hall, and I hope we students have your support here. Because, as Cesar Chavez said, when we have people together who believe in something very strongly, things happen. Thank you. Thank you, Kimberly and Tina. And I think Kimberly said it best than all of us, right? Um, and I uh, want to thank Tina as well for loaning uh, her husband, Miguel Vargas, who's on my staff. And uh, he works in my downtown area, works long, long hours. So thank you very much for that, Tina. And now I'd like to introduce uh, Rushmore Cervantes, the Executive Officer of the Housing and Community Investment Department. This department was formerly known as CDD and will be the largest tenant in the building with several community organizations functioning under its space. Please a big welcome to Rushmore Cervantes. Buenos dias everyone. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here this morning and I must, you must hear this from all the speakers. Uh, uh, the congratulations bestowed upon the councilman. You have no idea how much heavy lifting it takes to get a project like this off the ground. And I want to congratulate uh, Bureau of Engineering General Services for the tremendous job they did in this building. But now it comes time to the services. And Nazario and a number of other departments are going to be providing critical services, empowering the community. And that's what it's all about, education. Information is knowledge, and we're empowering this community. So we're very proud to be part of this community, serving each and every one of you. So I want to congratulations to the Boyle Heights community and the councilman. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Rushmore. Now we'd like to introduce Robert Zines, the Assistant General Manager of the Economic and Workforce Development Department that will also provide a number of services here. Please, a big round of applause to Robert. Good morning, good morning. Well, I was one of the tenants here about 15 years ago when we had the 180 violations, so I'm really glad that it's zero now. But really, this building represents more than brick and mortar. It represents the spirit of the community and bringing people together to actually do the community services. Boyle Heights is a great community with a great leader and great leadership by our community-based organizations. So we're very, very proud to be here. We'll be providing small business services uh, out of this building as well as workforce and economic development uh, initiatives. So we're very happy to be here and I uh, just want to uh, Give a shout out to Jasmine Alvarado, who's going to be the director of our Family Source, that, uh, working with the Housing and Community Investment Department, that is going to be here on a daily basis. She's a great young lady with a great staff. So thank you, Councilman, and we look forward for the future. Thank you very much, Robert. And now I'd like to introduce uh, Jorge Lambrino, the board president of the Lucio and Edward R. Roybaugh Foundation. As I mentioned earlier, the Roybaugh family has a deep history in this building and is the community uh, in the community. And we are excited to have the board president of the foundation here today. Welcome, Jorge. Buenos días. Qué bonito día tenemos hoy, ¿verdad? Es un placer de estar aquí, aquí con ustedes, especialmente con los niños, para dedicar este gran edificio como el Boyle Heights City Hall. Quiero comentar a concejal Luisar por su visión para este edificio y su dedicación a la comunidad. Ustedes tienen el mejor concejal en la ciudad de Los Ángeles. You have the best councilman in the city of LA. This building has many memories for the Royal family. As you've heard already, this is where Congressman got his political start as a councilman. And he always said to me, I only want to represent Boyle Heights and East LA. That's all I ever want to do. But he went on to do many more things. He went on to become congressman and he did many more things that 
made him a national hero in this country. This building is a reflection of the community and the commitment of Councilman Wezar and the City of Los Angeles to bring the services closer to the people. I want to, I am sure that when we cut the ribbon, the Congressman and Mrs. Royable are going to be smiling on us as they, as we open this building for new services. So I want to say to all of you, especially to the children, have fun. And for the children, make sure you take a lot of things with you. You're going to need them for school pretty soon. Thank you very much and congratulations, Councilman. Thank you very much and thank you for being here with us today. And um, last but not least, folks, before we cut the ribbon, I just want to again say thank you to everyone who had uh, their hands in this. This is a true victory for Ball Heights. Have you noticed? All of First Street is getting improvements. We're creating an arts district. We're creating an arts district. We have a weekly uh, farmers market there. We have Casa Zero One Zero One. The uh, there you are. The uh, first live theater in the East Side in many many years. Uh, this is a neighborhood that was once the first suburb of the city of Los Angeles. It has very old infrastructure. With that comes a lot of challenges. But I think in the last few years, what we've seen in improvements is showing that people in Ball Heights care, and it does really have a bright future. And in that future, the most important element is our young people. And that's why College Track and all the other services you'll see here for young people to stay out of trouble, to get those services they need, uh, the counseling, etc. Uh, I think Boyle Heights has a much, much brighter future ahead, even given the importance this neighborhood played to its past. So with that, let's cut the ribbon. How are we going to do that? Let's... Um Before you, all right, we are in Council District 14, so we're going to count down from 14, all right? Before you do that, everybody look this way for a photo. Okay, everybody look this way for a photo. Okay. Good? All right, all right. So we're going to count down from 14, and then we'll cut the ribbon. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Thank <laughs> you. 